on this video, I'm going to share with you guys a few things, and please watch it to the end. I think you'll pick up quite a bit from this. Uh, really bad MLS photos. We have a lot of unprofessional realtors in this country. That's a fact. It's sad, but it's true. There's a Facebook group called Really Bad MLS Photos. If you're not already a member, just go to Facebook, the search bar, type Really Bad MLS Photos, click on groups, and join that group. First few photos in this slide presentation I got from them. But it's a fun group. There's over 13,000 realtors. And I'll tell you this, if you're not looking for expired listings to go after, when the previous agent used really bad photos in the MLS, you're missing out. They're easy to pick up. Look at these. Look at that kitchen. Who would put that, even if the seller doesn't want to clean up, who would put that photo in an MLS? Look at this bedroom with a wire, cat. Look at this. I don't even know what room that is. But if your sellers don't want to clean up, you don't use photos like this. You either insist they clean up or you don't use the photos or I personally wouldn't take the listing. Look at this. Bathroom. I won't say what's in the toilet, but I think you can see. The other thing, it's not only bad photos throughout. The first photo of any listing is so important. Why? And I say it's more important than the list price. To get buyers interested, I really believe it is. Why do I say that? Well, buyers are looking either on their cell phone, their tablet, their desktop. They put their parameters in, and all they see is one photo, and they see a description and a price. This is what it looks like on Zillow. One photo, short description, a price, and an address. This is what it looks like on Realtor.com. Now, I'm going to share some photos that we got, my partner and I got, using this system. Photo on the left was the previous agent's photo. This was a $2 million home using that photo on the left. We used a photo on the right. We planned on using an aerial photo, but it was too close to an airport. We couldn't. Anyway, this home was listed by the top company in greater Cincinnati, a company that sells more homes than anybody. is one of their top agents. And that agent used that photo on the left for a uh, $1.9 million home. Uh, we couldn't use a drone. We took a photo from the back, had our professional photographer take a photo from the back. We used that photo as the first photo. We got two showings in the first couple of days. These photos, that the next few photos you're going to see are what aerial photos can do for you. The home on the left was listed by the top agent at that time in our entire MLS. 500 days using that photo. Uh, I didn't go through my normal routine to approach that seller. I was so excited to show him how bad that photo was that I actually drove up that driveway and knocked on the door. He was upset. He goes, who are you? What do you want? I said, I'm Jim McCord. I'm a realtor with Keller Williams. He goes, I don't like realtors. I had it listed with the top agent. He said, I really don't have time. I said, do you have just two minutes, two minutes of your time? He uh, walked down on the porch. He goes, yeah, you got two minutes. I showed him that photo. I said, this is the first photo. Your home is listed for $650,000, 500 days. If you list with us, we're going to get a drone up in the air, and they'll see that you back up to a golf course and you overlook the river. He said, Jim, can you come in and look at my house now? I'm telling you, use of good photos and aerial photos is powerful. Photo on the left here. I didn't blur that photo. That is actually the first photo that a top agent in our market used to market a two and a half million dollar house. That photo, when you meet with the seller, show them that they're pretty upset. Sellers don't understand the importance of photos. Look at this home, this was over $3 million. Photo on the left is a good crisp photo, but you can't even see the whole house. So when that expired, I went through my routine, met with the seller and let her know, when you list with us, we're gonna pay a drone photographer. We're going to see not only your entire house, which is a castle, but we'll see the yard. Use that as the first photo. Same thing with this one. It was a 140-acre home. It had a 10-acre lake, two homes, and a top agent in our market used that photo on the left for over two years, for $2.2 million. Met with the seller, let her know we'd use a drone photo. The photo on the right is what we use. It's phenomenal. We got more showings in the first month than they got in two years. Now, this photo on the left, I did not put that on the white background. That is the actual first photo the previous agent used, that exact photo. 
And it's, it was a mini farm with a couple barns and a lake. I met with the seller, let the seller know we'd get a drone in the air. We used a photo on the right. Same with this um, home on the left, it's a previous agent's photo. This was the fourth time it was listed. They switched agents four times. Uh, went through my routine, got to meet with the seller. Let her know, we, at them, those older couple, we would use a drone photographer and get an aerial photo, show the view of the river from the back of the house. That's the first photo we used when we listed and sold that house. It's not just, like I started out with some photos from the Facebook group. It's not just the first photo. It's not just aerial photos. These two photos, a photo on the left was a home, a dining room of a home that was listed for two years for 169000 I, it's in my market, I know the house, I love the house. I could tell the agent used the cell phone. So I printed those photos out, took them down, rang the doorbell, met with the seller, showed them those photos, let her know that we would get a professional photographer in with a wide angle lens. Those two photos are the same room, two years apart, but same room, same angle, look how much better that photo on the right looks. Now every room in the house looked that much better, not just the dining room. So what are your takeaways from this video? Hopefully you realize that if you're not using, if you're not looking at expired listings for bad photos, you're missing out. That's what you need to do. When you get a listing, do not take your own photos. Even if you think you're a good photographer, hire a professional real estate photographer. You look more professional and it sounds good to your seller and you're certainly going to get more showings when you have better photos. If you do use an aerial, if you're going to use aerial photography, you need to hire an FAA approved drone photographer. You can't buy your own, well you could buy your own drone, but you have to be having a, a license from the FAA to work commercially to take real estate photos. So any home with large yards or a view, even if it's a two or three hundred thousand dollar home, an aerial photo gets a lot of attention. Listings with bad photos are easy to list. Now, what I hear a lot from agents that I talk to is, Jim, that's great, but we don't have many expired listings. We just don't have expired listings. Well, in a way, that's true. We don't have, no market has as many expired listings as we had 10 years ago. But there are tons of expired listings on your MLS. I will be happy to get on Zoom, meet with you over Zoom, and get on your MLS, and I'll show you at no cost to you how many listings have expired that haven't relisted, haven't sold, and used really bad photos. I love doing that. I'm a real estate coach now. I've done that. I've been on over 85 MLSs, and I haven't found one yet that doesn't have not only a lot of expires, but a lot of expires that didn't relist and didn't sell with bad photos. Jim McCord, there's my phone number. Feel free to call me. I love talking to realtors. There's my email. Got a website at revolutionrealestate.com. And I also wrote a book. It's called a Revolution in Real Estate Sales. You can get that on Amazon for $9.95. I have that tip and a lot more tips in there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Take good photos. You guys have a great day.